Hey everybody, how you doing? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to start talking about blending modes. And there's a bunch of blending modes that might take a little while to get through. But pretty much what uh, blending modes do is uh, blend in two different layers together using uh, the set methods that they already have um, allotted here in Photoshop. So, um, what I have right now is just a picture of my friend, Alex, and um, then I created a gradient layer here over top, which has black, then white, then green, and then pink. And I wanted to show you how these different kind of colors interacted with the um, picture through blending modes. So you can find your blending modes right above the layers panel, or uh, right in the layers panel, I mean right above your uh, locks. So if you click on this right here, it'll bring down the different blending modes. Now the blending modes have uh, groups that they're split into and I'll just go over the groups. So at the top here is just the normal blending modes. Um, they don't really do too much. Then the group we have below is the darkening blending modes which uh, darken the colors that we have. Then below that is the lighten blending modes and those obviously do the opposite and lighten the image. We've got our contrast blend mode group right here and um, that's uh, pretty much ha they have like a bunch of different um, ways that they interact the these ones different they interact differently with the layer below it and you'll pretty much just have to see it to uh, see what's going on it's kind of a little harder to explain below down here we've got the uh, inversion and cancellation blending modes and uh, we'll have to go over those and then down here is the component blending modes and uh, these kind of do um, a lot with um, black and white and tint and stuff like that so let's get going on and sh show you what's going on so normal is the default blending mode and pretty much nothing goes on when you have normal it's just one thing on top of another the next blending mode that we've got going on is um, dissolve and I'm applying the blending loads to, to the above layer because uh, that's how blending modes work they affect the layer below so I'm gonna change this to dissolve and I pretty much never use dissolve I don't think I've ever used dissolve once in my life in uh, Photoshop or in any other Adobe program so dissolve um, this blending mode acts on transparency and partially transparent pixels and it treats them as like a pattern so when I lower the opacity here you're gonna see how it kinda like does like some dissolving um, and uh, that's what dissolve does in this there might be a use for it but I haven't found it yet um, and at, so at some point I'll figure it out and I'm let you know what that use is but you don't have to worry about that one too much because you won't really use it so let's go to uh, the next group here, which is the darkening group. So I click on here and go to darken, or I can roll my middle mouse button to switch between these. So what I wanted to show you is that um, darken multiplies the uh, layers together in, in a way that combines both of the images, uh, pixel colors, and it just basically like multiplies them together whichever uh, pixels are darker in in both of the uh, layers are the ones that are going to show up so if you look in this area here um, remember that our image here if I make it um, just that image if I solo it we've got our black here on the left and our white here right here so white is the lightest so that should not show up at all and the black should pretty much show up all of it so let's go back and see if that happens and it does and the green seems to be darker than some of the colors in this image so that uh, shows up as well as the pink but as you can sh uh, see the white part that was on our uh, gradient is gone now so that's how uh, darken works the next one is uh, multiply and multiply you'll be using a lot within Photoshop and it's the best darkening mode that there is so what's multiplied is the luminance levels of the layers pixels 
and it multiplies the layer with the the layer that's above with the layer that's below. So it's great for creating shadows and um, removing whites and things like that from your top layer. So just remember that uh, the multiply is the best uh, darkening. So if you don't think that your multiply is dark enough, we can come to the next one, color burn, and you can see that that is a little more darker. And this always reminds me of a little bit of a vintage look when I use color burn. So that's the kind of stuff that I like to use it for. Um, and this is just basically darker than multiply. So pretty much the same thing, but darker. And it highly saturates um, midtones and reduces highlights. So let's go to the linear burn here. So the linear burn is uh, darker than multiply but it is uh, less saturated than the regular color burn. As you can see here, the colors are uh, more pronounced and um, not as saturated. Let's go down to uh, the next one of the darken uh, group, which is called darker color. And it's not, oop, my bad. It's not one of the best ones to use, but darker color is uh, similar to darken. It might not look like it like it right now, but it is. It uh, darkens the uh, composite channel instead of the separate RGB color channels. So the one that's all together, it uh, darkens that. And um, if you can find a, a good use for it and you're going through your blending modes and this one looks good, feel free to use it. But obviously it doesn't look good in this image with these two layers, so I wouldn't be using it. So I'm gonna stop here. For now, we went over the different groups and we got through the darker, um, the darkening blending modes. And then in the next tutorial, we'll go over the different lighting uh, blending modes. And if we have time, we'll go through some of the other ones too. So thanks for watching this one. And if you want to keep on watching tutorials about the blending modes in Photoshop, um, I suggest you watch the next upcoming tutorial which is uh, Blending Modes Part 2. So see you guys in that one. Have a good one.